My friends, at the heart of the first of this week's two biblical portions, Nitzavim, is the notion of choice, obedience versus disobedience, blessing versus curse, life versus death. The Torah reminds us that we have the fundamental freedom to choose. The capacity to make choices is one of our most distinctive human endowments. Robert Frost makes this point in a little poem, The Road Not Taken. Once while walking through the forest, he came across a fork where two paths branch out naturally. He could only take one, but in the poem he wonders what would have happened had he chosen the other path. The fateful consequences of our choices. This week's Torah portion is always read on the Sabbath prior to Rosh Hashanah. On the high holy days, life's precariousness and perils are spelled out with terrifying realism. On Rosh Hashanah, our fate is inscribed, and on Yom Kippur it is sealed. Who shall live and who shall die? Who shall come to a timely end and who to an untimely end? Who shall perish by fire and who by water? Who by hunger and who by thirst? Who by earthquake? And yes, who by plague? Who shall have comfort and who shall be tormented? Who shall become poor and who shall become rich? Who shall be lowered and who shall be raised? On the high holy days, fate is what we are given. And yet our choices are within our control. We cannot choose our fate but we can shape our destiny. And in these choices lies the difference. Shabbat Shalom.